The David Griffin recently came out giving Kyrie Irving a lot of praise. He essentially said that Kyrie Irving deserves a lot of credit for being courageous enough to request a trade. David Griffin also stated that Kyrie Irving came and requested the trade in private. So what does that in private mean? When he says it in private, those are the key words, in private. That means that Kyrie Irving did not leak the story about him wanting to trade or him being discontent with LeBron James. So that only leaves the Cavs organization, which is Dan Gilbert and David Griffin. And at the, at the time period, you know, everything was on the hush-hush. Only person that also had knowledge to the trade was LeBron James because Dan Gilbert went to LeBron James and he essentially said, you know, I want to trade Kyrie, but I need to make sure that you're going to be committed. And LeBron couldn't necessarily give him that commitment. And shout out to Ticket TV because he did an excellent piece on this. Check out his video. I'll put the link in the description as well. Ticket TV, he, he knows his stuff. He does a real good job. He does a good job piecing the whole story together. But essentially, what David Griffin is basically saying is, Kyrie Irving did what a, a discontent player does. You know, they go to the organization, they give them a heads up, they tell them, you know, where they stand, and they want to move on. And that also confirms, you know, Stephen A's storyline about how Kyrie Irving's camp was upset that LeBron, somebody from LeBron James' camp, if not LeBron James himself, leaked the story. And this is, this requires for you as a fan to read between the lines. Like, at the end of the day, if... Kyrie Irving did a leak story. If the Cavs organization is not going to leak the story, first of all, it doesn't make sense for them to leak the story about a, a trade like that or him being unhappy playing with LeBron because that lowers their leverage when it comes to trading. So when they want to make a trade, if they just say, hey, we'll trade you Kyrie out of the blue, it's just like, okay, let's, let's do it. It won't be like, well, the Cavs are in dire straits because we know LeBron is not going to return and Kyrie doesn't want to play in Cleveland. So... It hurts their leverage as well. So the only, only person that benefits from the whole story getting leaked out is LeBron James and his camp because that gives LeBron James somewhat of a sympathy card. He gets to look like a sympathetic figure. And, you know, it gives him an out as well. Like he can say, we won a championship. Kyrie doesn't want to stay. I don't want to stay. But in this case, if LeBron leaves, it just makes him look worse, in my opinion, because Day in and day out, LeBron James has been looking worse and worse and worse and worse. Every day he's on social media posting. He's sending subliminals at all these guys. You know, Kyrie Irving did an a Instagram post or something. He was on the beach. And then he was, like, mentioning a comment about the waves. LeBron James come out with some kind of uh, social media post. Don't ever lie, let people ride your wave or whatever. And it's like, you know... Everybody is so dismissive of Kyrie. Now it looks like LeBron James is dismissive of Kyrie as well. It's just like, excuse me, he was riding your wave? A guy that was averaging 27 points in the finals and 20, uh, 27 uh, this year and 29 last year, but he was riding your wave? The guy that hit the game-winning shot? The, the Probably the most important shot in Cleveland basketball history. And he was riding your wave and stuff like that. And everybody's like looking at Kyrie like, he can't be a franchise player. He's not this. He's not that. He's just a, a dribbler. He's that, then this, that, and the third. Well, when he when he was the leader of the team, the team was horrible. The team, that team was horrible, period. Like, it didn't, it didn't matter who was on it. Only person that could make that team somewhat competitive is LeBron James, period. But there's only one LeBron James. So at the end of the day, if you put, like, Westbrook on that team, it would have been horrible. You know, they had Deion Waiters. They had a bunch of bad rookies. Uh, Hayward, but just they had not the right consistency to be competitive. So you can't put that on Kyrie like this. It, 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 plus, he was young then; he didn't learn how to win. He learned how to win, so now he wants a chance to go to somewhere else to play. But at the end of the day, we all—if you can see between the lines—you see that LeBron James is basically the source of the leak. And on top of that, his antics on social media is not making him get any sympathy points on anybody. In fact, it's exposing him any even more for everybody to see, like, look, this guy right here, he's like an egomaniac. So if, if, if his so-called best bud, if they were like brothers, et cetera, et cetera, if he doesn't want to play with you, there is some kind of dysfunction there. And even David Griffin said, when it comes to LeBron, you got to tune out all the noise because all the stuff that he does, it, it can be a detractor. You just got to focus on winning. Bottom line, LeBron, we know you leaked it, bro.
<laughs> this is Black Rose Junction. Who's me too, but peace.